So I came to the University of Illinois as an undergraduate student in 1988 and coming here from a town of 500 people just a couple of hours north, uh, it was a pretty overwhelming place to be. There were an extraordinary number of students here and faculty. The scale of the place is enormous and the sense of where I was without a sense of where I could get easily connected, where I could find a sense of home and a place to uh, explore things that I was really interested in. And I was really fortunate in the first week that I was on campus to walk through the doors uh, here, the iconic doors of the University YMCA. And I remember the person sitting at the front desk, and I don't remember exactly who they were, but they said to me, what are you looking for? And I was just looking for a way to feel grounded and connected and to find a place where I would belong. The thing that I always especially liked about the Y and still do is that there was really a, a definite interest to get to know me as a person. And that is often not present in a lot of organizations. I would say the Y is a place, it's a community, and then it is also a network as people sort of leave the place and the close community and go off and remain connected. Many students, whether it's undergrads walking in for the first time, um, international grad students coming in, um, community members who are, who are looking for a place of connection on campus, lots of people end up talking about the University of YMCA as home. I thought this was a traditional YMCA that I had known, you know, through my youth, and I came quickly to discover it was a place that invited students and faculty and members of the community to explore with one another issues of shared concern, to develop um, skills and ideas to create positive change in the community and in the broader, uh, in the broader world. And to me, that there was an incredible sense of freedom and a sense that uh, I could explore ways of living in the world that were consistent with my values. Getting to hear from people's personal experiences and the amount of depth that they have like as a person, as like part of their communities, changed my perspective entirely. And I can I can never go back and I'm like really grateful for that. I think some of my fondest memories were just like being in the building, um, and just like enjoying a mundane activity, but just with others, and you end up having like a really interesting conversation that kind of fundamentally reshapes how you think of some about something that's really important to you. Um, yeah, I feel like there were just too many of those moments to pick one, but the pattern was absolutely like just being in that physical space and having that opportunity to do that. The YMCA has always been a presence here on the campus of the University of Illinois. It has met the needs of the day, whatever those needs may have been. Lots of different important things have happened here and happened because of this place and happen, continue to happen sort of out in the world because of things that happened here. There's certainly other like leadership programs on campus and other things, but to have people who are really engaging with you as an individual and with your cause as an individual and thinking about how to um, just kind of deepen the mission and deepen the work is really special. I'm just so struck by the level of sophistication, intelligence, uh, maturity. The students that I ever interact with or just listen to when I'm here, it's, it's stunning to me. One of the things that we offer really is a home on campus in the community. The message of the Y is so much bigger than just this building itself. Um, it's a community on this campus, it's a community of activists, um, it's a community of people that um, care about the students, care about the world, um, care about each other. It's a generative place because people are coming together and they're, they're, they're mixing and learning and the ideas are popping and I think people feel supported while they're here and continue to feel supported um, as they leave. I just feel very grateful that the Y helped me find my voice and helped me learn take what I was passionate about and translate that into something actionable, even postgraduate. So as we think about who the why and who we need to become here at the University of YMCA in the coming years, we will be led as we always have been, first and foremost, by our values. 
and secondly, a sense of agency that we can make a positive difference. And third, by a sense of where, where is it that our community of members and supporters uh, feel we can make the biggest and most important impact at the time. To me, that constant refreshment of our mission and our sense of purpose is the thing that really has kept us vital over those 150 years.